Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if this is your very first time here. So today we're doing something a little bit different. I have some news that I have not shared on YouTube yet, but I just moved. So I was living in my apartment and I was filming out of my dining room. It was very small and you know, I appreciated that once when I had it, it was where I was and now I've grown out of it and now I have a beautiful home in my own beauty room. Cannot wait to show you guys the room and to do a tour of the house and all that jazz. All of that is coming, but I just had to throw that in there real quick because y'all, we, we in our own beauty room now. Today we are going to be doing a natural glam beat. I've had a lot of you guys asking me for a natural makeup look. I do do a lot of color. I do do a lot of drama. So I wanted to make sure I'm listening to you guys and giving you what you want. If y'all want to see this tutorial, please make sure you keep watching. But first, 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 if you have not yet, please make sure that you hit that button below. That red button is big. You can see that. I don't know how big it is, but it's there. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you are updated every time that I drop a new video on y'all. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so today we are gonna be going over exactly how I do my makeup when I'm either in a rush. As a matter of fact, it's not necessarily when I'm in a rush. It's more like just when I want a very soft, natural beat, not too much, minimal time. So typically this routine will take me maximum 12 15 minutes I feel like I haven't done a video like this maybe not ever <laughs> but yeah we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it be nice short sweet to the point something cute that you can do on a regular daily basis you know for my brows I'm gonna go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz this is in ebony and I'm gonna just go ahead and fill them in and a lot of people like to do like hair like strokes when I do their brows I'm cool with that, but I feel like it's unnecessary because I'm just going to blend them in anyway. And that's just me and my way of doing it to each their own. So don't be coming up in here judging me. Then from there, I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and use the other end of the brow wedge just to blend my brows into each other. They're looking real harsh right now. So you got to make sure that you blend them. And then I'm going to go into my concealer, which if you don't use concealer on your brows, I don't know where you've been, what you've been doing. That's why your brows ain't popping and ain't sharp. I feel like that's basic information now. I'm gonna go into my favorite concealer, just my go-to concealer, which is ColourPop Dark 46. But what I do is I just put a little bit on my hand and I take my angle brush and I just shape them all out and blend downwards. Now I am a person who I feel like I've mastered my brow routine, so it does not take me that long. So not necessarily that you have to do this routine, but you know, whatever brow routine that is like a normal everyday situation for you would be this step. But this is my, this is my everyday. So <laughs> this is not an exaggeration. <laughs> then I'll take my finger in the middle just to make sure things are blended in that area. And we got brows. Regardless of what I have going on, if I'm doing a full face glam or if I'm just doing something more natural and pretty, I always still do my eyes first. And I think it's just a habit. It's not something that, you know, everyone has to do, obviously, but that's my vibe. So I'm going to take my concealer and put that on my eyes. I'm going to blend that out and uh, we're going to do a cute little trick real quick. So when I don't feel like looking for eyeshadow palette well i ain't gonna look i got so many but that's beside the point when i don't you know want to do the most and i don't even want to use multiple colors i don't want to do any of that i just want to look totally put together natural clean pretty i use my bronzer for my eyeshadow so my favorite bronzer right now as you guys should already know if you watch me is prime beauty and this is in the color brownsville it's hard to find brown girl bronzers and they have a very beautiful variety of them so this is the one that I use and what I will do is I will take a flat brush and I will go ahead and just pat that on the lid and then I'll go into a fluffy brush and just kind of blend it out in the crease. And that way we have a nice flush of natural color. It's not exactly the color of your concealer. It's not too light. It's not too dark. It's just right. And once you have on your bronzer all over your face everything is just gonna come together even more. So for me, the key to a very pretty, beautiful, but still glamorous looking 
face is the lashes okay so we ain't gonna go in with no liner no nothing like that we're gonna throw in a little bit of mascara but that's about it and we're gonna pop on some lashes the lashes i'm using today are from colored rain from their safari rain collection and these are the glamazon lashes and they are big and fluffy and extra and they will just make your whole look pop all right, so that is it for the eyes. If you just, you know, you cool, you a chill type of chick, you ain't trying to do the most, girl, you can stop right here. That's it. You can even skip putting concealer on your eyes beforehand. Now, I would recommend doing that. Get a concealer that's closer to your skin tone to do it in order to help the deeper color to stick better throughout the day, you know? But besides that, girl, if you, you ain't about that life, you know, put on a little liquid highlighter if you want to some gloss and you good but for the sake of the video we about to do a full face but very very natural so i'm gonna be using the products that i use on a daily basis when i'm just doing my makeup to get out of the house and look cute and look pretty so for primer we're gonna go ahead into the master prime primer from maybelline and this primer is blur and pore minimizing and that just helps throughout the day so that your pores don't be just coming out of what works doing the most. So for foundation, on an everyday basis, I usually use my Fenty Beauty foundation in 420 or I use my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, which is in Macau. Yeah, Macau. These are my go-tos. For the sake of the video, we gonna mix these two. So I use a brush to go ahead and put this all over the face. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take my e.l.f. blending brush and just to go ahead and blend it all in. Now for your natural look, of course, you don't have to use as much foundation as me. I am a full coverage queen, honey. So I like to, you know, do the most, whether it's natural or not. Now I always like to go in with the butt of my beauty blender and just bounce over my face. Cause I feel like it takes away any like brush lines or anything that, you know, could possibly be making your foundation look as, you know, less flawless and we ain't got time for that. Especially when we're trying to look natural, we don't want those lines to be showing or anything. So I do this just to blend. For concealer, obviously, we're gonna go into the concealer that I use all the time, which is ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And this is in Dark 46. And we're gonna go ahead and put this in all the usual places. But the only place that I usually put it that I'm not about to put it is here. I'm not gonna put it there just because we are going to, for something that's more natural. So I'm gonna put it everywhere else, but not in that area. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out with my beauty blender. I feel like this is a quick process once you get used to the process, if that makes sense. So, I mean, if you're brand new to makeup, this might not be as good for you. And I do plan on doing a natural look that's for beginners. This one is kind of for people who, you know, you already wear makeup kind of sometimes. So now I am going to go ahead and take the leftover from the beauty blender and put it here. I just don't want to, you know, do the most with that. I didn't want to have that whole area highlighted. And we are concealed. Yeah, I just don't know how good it feels to be filming in my own beauty room now. Like, <laughs> that is just not something that I'm used to, that I've had. Like, my filming area has always been in my dining room in my apartment. Very small space. And, you know, it, it, all, my dining room table was also in the room. Then, as I look forward, it was my living room. And it was just real cramp. And I thank God for that time of my life at that apartment because I needed it then, but now I've outgrown it. So I thank God for the space now. It just feels, it feels so good, it feels so good. So I'm extremely, extremely happy about that. Um, Since we're going for something more natural, I'm not gonna cream contour. I'm gonna just go straight into my powder for now. Um, and we're just gonna do bronzer in a minute. I'm gonna go into Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, which is my go-to powder. Love it, love it, love it. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer. And your girl is running out, Jesus. Oh, we really running out. And tip, always make sure that there's no creases underneath your eye before you powder because you're gonna set them in and you're gonna have creases all day. But one thing I love, and one thing I love about the OG Laura powder is it's brightening, but it's not too brightening. Like, if we talking about a powder that's kind of too brightening, if you don't know what you're doing, that's the Fenty Beauty powder. Oh my God. They will brighten up your life in a good way in, or a bad way if you if you don't know what you're doing. I love that this is actually translucent and you, if you pat it in enough and blend it in enough, then it's not gonna be like, bam, concealer. 
you know. So sometimes I will go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder, which is in medium deep, and I'll set my smile lines, and sometimes I'll set the rest of my face. For now, I'm just going to set my smile lines. We're looking a little washed out, we're looking a little dry, you know. I'm just gonna go ahead into my bronzer to bring some color back into the face. Quick, easy, simple, to the point. All right, so we are almost done. For a highlighter today, I am gonna go into my favorite highlighter, which is from Shayla by ColourPop, and it's in Pose. And you just wanna highlight the points that is necessary. So the tip of the nose, down the bridge of the nose, underneath your brows, your tear duct, and right here. Your, right here, your cubic's bow as well. And then of course, we can't forget the top of the cheekbones. But depending on how natural you want your look, and y'all don't mind my background, I kind of just got it like that because I have a window right here and the sun is like shining, it's going down and it's like shining on my background. So I kind of like the vibe, but you know, if it looks a little weird to you, that's what's popping. That's what's going on. Um, depending on how, how clean you want this look to be, you can choose to do your under eye or not. I'm just going to take a, a very small straight brush and I'm just gonna line my bronzer underneath my eye and then I'm gonna put on mascara and that's it. I typically, and I cannot find my, my favorite lipstick and I'm very sad about it. And it is Shayla by ColourPop in Quickie. But today I'm gonna go with, um, Jesus, what am I gonna go with? Today I'm gonna go with Minted. I don't know if you guys know of Minted Cosmetics, but they do have Chocolate Girl Friendly Nude Lipsticks, which is amazing. I know they just came out with some complexion products too, and I can't wait to try those out. But this one is in Nude La La, and it's a beautiful nude shade. It's just a beautiful nude. Like, you don't have to do anything to spruce it up or anything like that. But typically, your girl does like to have a kind of a darker color around it, so I am gonna go into Huntress from Colored Rain. And for a little bit of shimmer in the middle, I'm gonna go into my Kylie Lip Gloss, and this is in Glitz. And that is the finished look. All right, so that does it for this more natural glam, everyday makeup look, which I think is just perfect for spring, going out, you know, during the daytime, running your errands, doing what you need to do. I feel like this is perfect. It's nice and simple, it's easy. Um, I could come up with something that's a little easier for my beginner, so I got y'all soon. Everybody on Instagram, y'all been telling me that y'all really want some natural looks, so I'm trying to deliver. I did do another natural look on Instagram a couple weeks ago. Just trying to make sure that I give y'all what you want. I'm so excited again to be filming in my beauty room. The first part of my year has been crazy from, you know, finishing my thesis and graduating and now moving. It's been real, but your girl is happy. I'm grateful and I'm just excited to be able to hang out with you guys more because I, I just miss YouTube so bad. You know, I've been alone. It's just been here and there and I'm ready to get it like that again. If y'all like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Comment below if you want to. Hit subscribe below if you have not yet. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.